We are recording. We are live. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, ladies. Okay. Oh my God, I love this pro blaster so much. Jeez. Hey, Wanda. There we go. All right, here we go. Blast away, girls. Open blast for half hour. Then we'll get to our workout session. And let's start off today. Um, do we have any fascia questions? Any fascia questions today? Don't be shy. I do. I have to think of it. You have to think of it? <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you. Something. It'll come to me. Well, then we can start off with anyone else? Have a question? A victory? A fashion victory? Just. Well, I have a bit of a victory. I had this weird pain. Like in my jaw when I, I already have TMJ, but then I was having some weird issues in my jaw from eating on the side that usually does not hurt. And that side really, really hurt. And then my neck hurt. And I'm like, oh, this is painful. What am I going to do? And I'm like, oh, duh, dummy, go get your blaster. So I did that. And I hit this spot like right in front of my ear when I was doing up my jaw. And I'm like, oh, that was oh. terrible. Oh, no. But the next day it was better. I mean, it was it was still kind of bad, but it was nowhere near as bad as the day before. So I it just rinsed and repeat. Yep. And after later on that day, it, I noticed that it wasn't hurting at all. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess this stuff really does work. Well, who would have thought? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yep. It was up in front of your ear. Yeah, it, that right, yeah, right there. Right, it's right like where, where the jaw connects. And yeah. as soon as I was open, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it would hurt like inside my ear. So it was yep. Yay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's sore to work on, but it is effective for sure. That ma the masseter bone, it, it obviously open and closes your mouth and it comes through here. But then we have the, the one that often causes trouble is this right here, the um, SCM, that one that when our feet, our, our neck comes forward, you know, because it's yeah. all it traveled, it traveled all down there. So that's the whole spot I did. And then, and yeah, any time your neck is involved, it's going to involve the whole entire lateral fascia line. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And so I just like down my down my shoulder, down to my shoulder, like from that from that and behind my ear, especially. Yeah. Basically, the client I've always done just full body because just hit it all, right? Yes. Yeah, basically. It's never like, oh, it hurts here. And if I dig right here, it's gonna feel it might feel better, but it's not going to be the cure all. So that, that's a good share. Thank you. So um, we have an announcement for Black Friday. Is it 21 or 23 new items coming? Jeez, what? Black Friday sale. I posted it. I don't think yeah. I posted it. I didn't see it. I got to go look. Yeah. Oh, I know. Wow. A video of some of the stuff too. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Um, so if you click on my, my, um, you click on my Facebook, I have the link there and you have to go sign up and get your name in to be one of the first to purchase. You're not obligated, you know, but it gets you, um, so you can be first to purchase stuff. You know how they usually open it up a day before in public. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that. Lots and lots and lots of different stuff that's not necessarily fascia blasters. 
the body stuff, huh. products. I think there's even like a pillow and lip stuff and huh. yeah. I might need that pillow. I've been looking for a new pillow. That was a heck of a sale she just had, man. Did you? Yeah, it was. Well, did anyone get anything? I, I was going to, but I'm like, I just got stuff. Black Friday is typically the, the big shebang, but I mean, you never know. You never know. Oh, yeah, and the, the blaster I told you about, the one that I got to try. I can't remember what it's called. It's the one with the brushes in it. Um, huh? yeah. Did you like that? That was, did I like it? You try it? Did you say? Yeah, I tried it um, in June when I uh, saw Ashley in Austin. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Lee was complimenting me. She's like, oh, your legs look amazing. But I have still, you know, I had gone for just months this week. Um, but they, I started on heavy duty steroids yesterday. Again. And so I think it's like taking <laughs> all inflammation out of me, not my stomach, but <laughs> my legs. So <laughs> you can see a little more muscle today. I haven't been beefing it up in the weight room yet. <laughs> I haven't been in the gym since August. I'm ready. I want to go back. I want to be right back. What? Did she said I'll be right back? Hello. Are we having technical issues? I just saw Lee cut out. <laughs> Wanda. Yes. Oh, just making sure you can hear me. Yeah, you're okay. Yes, yes. Um, did Alana come on? No. Where's she at? I'm gonna have to give her a jingle. <laughs> okay, so we got some fashion stuff out. Uh, okay, so now, how's everyone doing? Do I have to call you out one by one? <laughs> Michelle's up on? Are you back? Michelle, are you here? Yeah, okay. Maybe she's running late. <laughs> Lee, I saw you. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you and I can see you. Okay. Um, oh, Pat's going home. What? Pat is going home. Ah, the girls just called me. I'm like, I'm in class. Let me go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is she going home today? Um, I don't know yet. I'll have to send her flowers. I cannot hear you. Let's see. We can hear you. Uh, can I don't you know, but let's see. I can I can hear you. Uh, yeah, I hear you. That's funny. I don't know why. Um, okay, so, nope, yeah, Lee, Lee, yeah, I hear you, yeah, I can't hear anything, though, hardly, it's like a whisper, oh, I hear you, perfect, okay, so, did you, can you turn your volume up, I did, it's all the way up, I don't know Aww. what happened, it was can fine I before, 
Eric, can you can everybody else hear me well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's you, Lee. So yeah, I know. We're... Hmm. So Wanda. Yes. Tell me about your week. Well, I've been doing a lot of line dancing. Nice. And I still have two left feet. Aww. I turn the wrong way when I'm not supposed to, but. And then I've been using my blasters because I have some aches and pains. I bet. Anytime Last you... night was a two hour class and we normally only do an hour. Wow. I kept telling them I have to go home. I've got an eight o'clock exercise class that I'm on. And they kept telling me I was a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do this so then you can go back and lane dance, right? Yeah. They've got it at one of the local bars. She does it on Friday nights and she says, you got to come, you got to come. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I don't do the bar scenes. <laughs> but it's before the music and everything starts. But... Huh. And, and it's country? Well, they're doing line dances to different songs. Um, there's one that's called Shivers that um, from Ed Sheeran. Oh, I love him. I can't think of that song. Well, there, there's Shivers is what the name of the song is that we do that to. Yep. And then there's a couple other ones. Some of them, I didn't know the songs and they're kind of a rap song. Oh, wow. So they're, a lot, they're doing a lot of line dances to other things besides just country. Cool. Yeah. I figured they, a lot, actually, they would, with line dancing being popular, they probably needed to hit a different audience that's not, you know, just country. Right. That is, I, I'm not a big music listener. Um, I kind of prefer uh, quiet or nature versus music. So I never listen to music in the car unless I'm tired or need to amp up, you know, but um, yeah. Well, I listen to more music than I watch TV. Yeah. I'll, so I'll go quite a few days and not even turn TV on. And Big music fan here too. I don't. I don't listen to it in the car though. Never. I listen to um, podcasts a lot. Mm -hmm. or radio. Yeah. Oh, I love music. Love dancing. Any kind. Any kind of music. Oh, all kinds. Are you kidding me? I'm 66. You know. <laughs> I grew up. You know in the. 70s and as a teenager oh I, that music still Emily uh yes. Oh, what's new, girly? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, Emily. Hey. I'm hey. um, just uh back in Brooklyn. Oh. Sort of thing. How's it going? It's going. It's going. It's always, it's always an adjustment period for a couple of days. Why is that? Uh, just the from Vermont to the city is just such a drastic energy shift. It takes me a couple of days to kind of reacclimate. <laughs> okay. I have a 
always feel like um, when I come back from vacation or something, I need a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, Coming here is just a different way of life completely. So you just have to kind of ease back into things. And what takes you to Brooklyn? It's where my apartment is. I live between Vermont and Brooklyn. Yeah, and, and Vermont, is that where you're? It's where, I'm from, it's where I'm from originally. Um, yeah. My boyfriend lives there. So Those it's, not my, it's not my hometown. It's further out, like in the mountains. So it's really isolated and rural. Mm. I come here and it's like, wow. But Halloween is really fun in the city. Like all the little kids dressed up. It's so cute. Aww. We haven't it's, gotten one trick or treater in almost what twenty three years here. <laughs> what are you doing? You just don't have kids in your area, huh? No, we just live in the mountains. And see, they you turn out all the lights. Yeah, she just doesn't participate. <laughs> what my mom used to do some years, she just couldn't handle it. <laughs> so where I live, um, they have no. What do you call it? No uh, light pollution. So you can see the stars. Yeah. We don't have any uh, lights. We don't have any street lights. Right. You know? And we also don't have any sidewalks. Mm. No, we don't either. We, we don't even have lights on the highway, like on 66. Like no highway lights. We yeah, don't we, don't, we don't either. It's a and so it's completely the only thing there are is, you know, the traffic a uh, few traffic lights in the downtown area. My first time I was here was, you know, when I was married 20, 20 some years ago with my ex-husband and <laughs> we left town and, and it, we, we left our, our home and drove to a restaurant and it was dark and I'm like, oh, how am I ever gonna find my way home? And this is back before the Garmin's and the digital mapping yeah and at first I would get so lost because I, I couldn't see anything I'm yeah. like I have no idea where I'm going I'm blind <laughs> now we have the cell phones and maps but yeah so hard to get stranded on that highway let me tell you <laughs> there's no trick-or-treaters here the town there's um, one neighborhood, that the, a little neighborhood that they do have sidewalks and they all open their garage doors and have um, a big part, big, big parties. It's where you can take all the kids in this one neighborhood. Really, really cool. And then the town, I don't know if they did this year, but they usually put on a festival in the park where they give out like a carnival booth type stuff where they play and get candy and Yeah. 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 It's different than... Midwest, where you try to get as many houses as you can, and <laughs> yeah, with pillowcases, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. I think trick or treating is going to be a thing of the past. Really? Yep. How come? I don't know. <laughs> well, with the people, you know, they're saying now that a lot of candy's getting laced with fentanyl. Oh, and you, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's a new thing I've heard too, which is just so upsetting. They talked about it last year, even. I yeah. remember uh, my favorite thing to get growing up was homemade popcorn balls. Yeah, they yeah. quit that a long time ago because people were putting uh, needles and razor blades in. Yeah. Wow, that's really candy apples. Yep. Yeah. No, I used to make those for kids. No, nothing, none of that stuff. Really so now they have mostly around here they do trunk or treat yeah where they they had that in minnesota too are you still there yep oh sorry i interrupted you i thought we lost well that's disappointing yeah it's really sick really sad Jeez. Yeah. Valerie, what's with you, girl? All oh, this talk of trick-or-treating, and I'm like, I bought candy, but then I ate it. 
Oh, sorry, kids. Not sorry. <laughs> Well, where I live, I've never had trick or treaters, and we've been here since '79. Oh my gosh, you're you're worse than me. Been 23 years here, but gosh, that's a long time, Wanda. Are you guys rural? Are you, do you have neighborhood? Like, are there houses right beside you? Yeah, but we don't have sidewalks. We're we're in the country, and oh, there's yeah. we always scoped out, you know, how many houses we could hit as fastest, like. Right. Well, oh, wow. tell you, my my granddaughter was um went to a theme park with her Girl Scout troop, and she had to come to my house. And the gal that was driving didn't want to come down my street because there was no uh street lights. Yeah, yeah. kept asking her, "Are you sure this is the way to your grandma's house?" and yeah. She didn't want to come down here and drop her off because there was no no lights. Aww. But I have a big yard light and I have lights all over. The neighbor has lights all over. So, and I met him out in the driveway. But she said that yeah, she really is was nervous about coming down my road. We have about five more minutes of blessing. Valerie, how are you doing? Be quiet. Oh, I'm actually I'm doing pretty good. Good? Have a good week? Yeah. Works okay. And, you know, I went outside. You went outside? Yeah. yeah. You know, I was not going outside, but I'm outside. Oh yeah, I'm doing pretty good. What's the temperature? Oh, uh, it's about 80. Oh, nice. Um, so we've been 80s, and uh, I guess that we're gonna drop um, to 60. We're just at a 20 degree cool down. I don't, I don't know um, what. I don't know if there's storms somewhere or. We're we're gonna get your weather then because it's gonna be 70s and even up to 80 all next week. Crazy. Oh, it's going to push your way. It's been freezing here. I mean, literally freezing. I had put all my plants and well, not all of them, what I could in the house and oh, <laughs> the okay. 70s and 80. Really? That's awesome. It's been gorgeous here. Oh, yeah. Creamy, like cool morning, cool evening, sunny, full sun, no clouds, just gorgeous. Oh. YouTube. For me, it's the no humidity that's making yeah. it great. Yeah. My daughter, um, I don't think I put it in the post, but that I went hiking this weekend. My daughter came home for the um, weekend and stayed with me. And her roommate situation is very different this year. Last year, she never came home and stayed, not only for, only for Christmas. Um, and she got an apartment this year because her old roommates all went to live in their sorority house. And so her roommates... One of them is a model and only is doing online school. And she has been in LA, New York, and Miami. She hasn't been there the whole semester. Her other roommate, her other two roommates live, you know, in the Valley area. One, her boyfriend is going to school in California and she's either in California or with her parents. And like the other one is um, depressed and not living in the apartment she's at home she's like having some issues and so Paige and Bob are at the apartment by themselves um, 
So yeah, now we FaceTime and Bob is with her and I'm talking to Bob instead of reverse. So she's actually, um, she had never lived alone. And so it was kind of, um, she didn't like it at all. She was like, mom, I've never lived alone. You know, she went from me to four, her four roommates last year that were never apart. And anyway, so she's changing her living situation. Um, next year, she's signing back up with two of her old roommates. They are going to leave their sorority house and live with her again. And yeah, so she has some company, but oh, she comes okay. home now to see me because she's uh, lonely. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I didn't take very many pictures because I looked in my camera well, I have 461 pictures on that hiking trail that we did. Because <laughs> <laughs> That's our favorite one. And so we're like, oh. But what's so beautiful about it, it's like a between nine and 14 miles, depending which if you go up and around, we just went oh, up and around. And um, it's beautiful. It's in the mountains, in the forest, along a creek, to a waterfall, it's gorgeous. And oh. every time you do it, it's like, it feels like the first time. You always see different stuff, it's beautiful. Cool. Okay, transition, transition to workout. Oh, I forgot to bring a sports bra down. Oh no, let's see. Is it in here? I'm gonna throw in my clothes real quick. All right, everybody ready? There we go. Have your drinks nearby, your bands, your weights. Have your smile on. Yes. 
and your ball. The ball. Okay. We ready? Yep. All right. Let's just start taking a breath. Overhead. And exhale. Bring your hands behind your back. Push your chest forward. Look up. Drop left to your left shoulder. Chin to chest and then right to your right shoulder. And come into the tabletop position. Let's put the left knee up on the ball in that tabletop position. And let's do some cat cows. Push away from the floor. There goes my neti pot. <laughs> and up. And down. And up. And a couple more. You grab a tissue. I have a deviated septum, so after I do the, uh, the, the, the nasal cleanse, like an hour later, I usually try to do a down dog or something to get the rust out. All right, and now let's take it and let's go ahead and work that left in our thigh, just moving around nice and gentle. And some movement. Let's take it around. Bring that foot up, rotate that ankle, bring your shoulder blades down, look up, push your chin up towards the ceiling, rotating that ankle, drop that left hip, maybe bend and straighten, bend and straighten, push away from the floor, pull the left shoulder back, look over the right shoulder to your left foot. And let's spin back towards forward. Let's take that leg long. Take that leg long. Take that leg long. Put the foot off the ball. Slot that knee and point and flex. Point and flex. Get some neuroflossing. Point and flex. And now walk it around. Bring it around. Bring your your foot past the ball, drop that left hip. And just shift side to side, creating space through those hips. Maybe swinging the right foot across into that pigeon, maybe a cup into the cobra. What serves you? Looking side to side, pulling the scapula back, creating space in the chest. And now go ahead and drop that left knee, drop the left knee, come back by the ball, bring that right leg out. And go ahead and point and flex. Point and flex that right foot. Knee needs to be locked to get that flossing. If you take a bend, you don't have the tension on that sciatic nerve to get that neural flossing. So keep that leg straight, point and flex. You can even do a little windshield wiper just to get some movement in your ankle. And when you're ready, you bring that ball in a little closer. If you need to pull your foot up, you can. Get that stretch in that left quad. Okay, I like taking, tucking my hip, towards my ribs, bringing it up, getting the stress on that quad, and then getting my movement forward and back. Call this the quad rocker. Remember, you can always do a little shifty, shifty side to side. You can even do a little circling, half circle, and then maybe switch it up and just go full on out of the hip to rib. Play around, see what feels good to you. If you need to bring your arm up, maybe, maybe grab your neck, maybe looking up. And 
And if you're in this position, go ahead and get some torque in that upper thoracic. Looking past the right hip towards the left foot. And up, lean back, open that armpit, shine your heart over to the left, and twist, and open, and twist. And release, let's just drop down, put both feet onto the ball, both feet onto the ball, push away from the floor into that cat cow. Really tucking it in, tucking your chin to chest, and pushing it away. Tucking it in. Pushing it away. Tucking it in. Pushing it away. And now let's take a switch. Let's take, come forward, bring your ball over to the right. And go ahead and take another breath in. And exhale. Bring your hands down into that tabletop. Ball is over to the right. I'm going to put the right knee up on the ball. I'm going to take it out wherever I'm comfortable. And I'm going to go into that cat cow. So I'm going to bring it up, pushing away from the floor, maybe looking under the armpits, and reverse it. Get wherever you're comfortable, up and down. Get some breath. And now let's get into that movement of that inner thigh. Again, forward, backwards, side to side, circles, whatever serves you today. When you're ready, walk away from the ball, hands go away, knee comes over the ball, the ankle comes up, push that right hip down, push the shoulder blades, hugging the scapula, lots of space between the ear and shoulders, Moving that ankle, twisting and twirling, maybe looking over the left shoulder as you pull the right shoulder back, turn, twist, look, rotate that ankle, and when you're ready, walk your hands back forward, go long on the ball, okay? Go long on the ball. I'm putting my ankle past the ball and I'm gonna do some pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing, knee is straight. Your back can be up or level, wherever you like it. <sighs> Take a nice breath. And get a little stretch here. Little stretch in that inner thigh. Whatever feels good to you. When you're ready, walk it out, walk away. Drop it down, drop that right hip. Again, I'm moving that ankle as much as I can, bringing the scapula back, maybe pushing my hip side to side, maybe bringing the left foot over, coming into that traditional horror pigeon, shifting, moving, rotating, movement. Any type of movement should never hurt. And now I'm gonna bring it I'm going to drop that right knee down, come back on the ball, right knees down. I'm going to take the left leg out and I'm going to point and flex. My knee is locked. I'm not hyperextending, but that knee has to be straight to put the stress. We're taking that sciatic nerve. We're going back and forth. We're trying to get the sciatic nerve to move freely between the fascia, the muscles, all the way from our lower lumbar between our under our piriformis and our glutes in between our adductors your hamstring right below your saddlebag that often gets caught up in there so just get that movement okay and then go ahead and walk it out let me get my ball a little closer i'm going to take a tuck here and lean forward getting that stretch now in that quad, get that movement. Again, whatever serves you, maybe it's tighten your glutes while you're doing it and come all the way forward and back. You can sheer side to side, do a little hula hoop, little half moon, maybe lean to the side, maybe arm up, 
We grab the back of that neck, opening that chest and turning it down. Just movement, don't overthink it. And one last stretch here. All right. Let's go back, feet on the ball, back into that tabletop, back into that tabletop, feet are on the ball, feet are on the ball, in that tabletop, get your set up, push away from the floor. So my scapular down, my arms are engaged and active. They're not, you know, they're strong. Now take that right foot, send that right foot back. Right foot back, ball is back. What is our, what are our abs doing? They are tight, pulling that navel in. Bring that left arm out. Left arm out, bicep by the ear, bicep by the ear. Hold it, now lift that foot off the ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg back on the ball. Now push the right foot into the ball for 10, nine, eight. Release, switch. Both feet are on the ball. Come back into child's pose. Bring it back into tabletop, back into tabletop. Set yourself up, scapula down, scapula are hugging the spine. You are strong, strong arms, strong. Pull that navel in, slight tuck of the hips to the ribs. Left foot goes back, push that left hip bone down, squeeze that left glute, bring that right arm up, right arm is by, the bicep is by the right ear. Everybody tight and take that left foot off, left foot up for 10. Nine. Oh, it's hard on one side. And yeah, it's harder on one side. Put that left foot on the ball, push it away, and 10. 10 pushes in the ball. Take it back. Child pose, both feet on the ball. Child pose. And let's come out, have a band nearby. Have your, have your band traces nearby, okay? Take it out, put the ball, or the ball is on my right hip, right hip. Bands are within reach, right hip. We're gonna do a lateral stretch, coming over the ball. Lateral stretch, stretching out that left side. Foot going one direction, hand going the other, rotating that ankle. And maybe even getting a little higher on the ball, moving it from front to back. And turning the foot. Turning that femur, the foot is actually just coming along for the right. Okay, got it all stretched out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, Strap up a, a band. Strap a band down um, above your ankles. Band above your ankles. Come over your ball. And tuck that tummy, tuck that tummy. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. And TFL, take it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold, 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 and release. Take a little bend there. Bring it, take a bend in the knee, lean into it, give that a stretch. And take the band off, go to the other side. Ball on the side, have your band nearby. 
Now, if the band is down um, above your ankles, it's much harder than the band is up on your thighs. So make any adjustment you might need. If you band both, it'll be even harder, okay? So first let's stretch that muscle. Give that some stretch, come over your ball, stretching my right lateral line through the hip. I'm always gonna move those ankles anytime I can, opening and closing, opening and closing. Maybe bringing the foot front to back. Rotating that femur. And get a drink anytime you need it. Grab your band. Get set, stack the hips, bring the abdominal in, and take it up. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more. Work those abs, blow it out, and done. Come off the ball, take that band off, bring that knee in, give that a hug, give us some love, love. Love, love. And let's just do another exercise for that same area, but just so you're not bored, we'll stand up and put that band. Uh, let's bring it up right up here. Okay. We're going to stand up and do some lateral walks. Okay. So we all have different amount of space. You can work with whatever you have. So you're standing up. I think I need a tighter band. All right, the double band, whatever you want. This one's really tight. <laughs> I might be like, oh, it's a bad idea. Okay, tension on the band. Tummy in, squat it back. My feet are gonna stay railroaded. They're not gonna go like this or, you know, you're gonna stay like this. I'm gonna stay in that squat position. And I'm gonna constant tension on the band. I'm gonna go wide, a little bit in. Two inches out, two inches in. Two inches out, two inches in. Out, in, back. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Make it burn. I need this bad. <laughs> Woo! Stay level. Don't go up and down. Feet stay straight. I know it hurts because it works. It hurts because it works. It's a good hurt. This is the burn we want. This is the burn that keeps our joint healthy and happy and keeps us from getting injured. Oh. Woo! Here we go. So, oh. 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 back. Almost done. Push it out. Woo! Hello, butter. Take it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Drop the band. Shake it out. Shake it, shake it. Was that fun? Yes. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Do a little hip circle, one way and then the other. Like, wake up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, catch your breath, grab a drink. I want electrolytes in one and water in the other. You guys forgot about you, didn't you? Well, mama? <laughs> What was that? My glutes got I forgot about them. <laughs> right? Okay, we're gonna do that again. So I'll pick your poison, grab your band. You want it to be challenging, like at the end, you wanna be like, oh, I'm done, that hurt. <laughs> Good hurt, okay? Muscle pain. 
Muscle pain is good pain, okay? All right, feet are straight, tummy is in, push that butt back into that squat. I'm not collapsing. You will always see my heart. The heart is open, right? Right at you. Tucking it down, I'm gonna stay at this level. I'm not bobbing. Tension on the band, ready, go. Move it, blow it, pull those abs in. I know it hurts. Second set is always worse. Well, it's kind of our third because we did those ones on the ball. That was our warm up. <laughs> Tension on the band, tummy tight. Butt is screaming. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Go, 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 go. Finish it out. Finish it out. You're, when you're done, when you're done. Go, 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 go. Tension on the band and release. Holy bananas, right? Yeah. Good job. Go ahead and just shake that out for a minute. Ah, uh, wowza. That was good. Good job. Bring this back down a little bit. Remember, drink whatever you might need whenever you might need it. Okay. All right. When it's safe for you to come down, come on down. Get another drink. So dry in Arizona. <coughs> Woo! The desert. Right, get out your ball. You grab your ball. Put it behind your back. Put it behind your back. Turn behind my low back. And I'm going to bring my arms over my head. I'm going to take it back. Take it back. Take it back. And give it a little stretch. <sighs> Moving my hips. And roll yourself up. You can assist with your head. Put your, your um, feet together, come into that diamond. Sit up straight, take an inhale. Shoulders wide, drop it over your feet. A little stretch in that low back. Back is straight, back is straight. And now round out the back, chin the chest. And now take it a straight back. So it's a little bit of a cat-cow in this butterfly position. One more, bring it in. And push it away. All right. Take it over our ball again. Bring the ball a little higher up onto the back of my shoulder blades. And let's get some thoracic rotation. Knees are windshield wipers. So their knees are going to go to the right as my body, upper body goes to the left. And now switch. Upper body dips right. Knees go a little bit left and switch, it's just slight. Just getting thoracic rotation. Your thoracic was meant to rotate. Do you know how many people's hips cannot move? Their thoracic cannot move. Everybody is stuck forward looking at technology. So get it. we're actually doing some twisting here so we can get our abs ready. And release. Now, while we're here on the ball, you can, it's up to you. You can bring your arms back like this. You can cradle it like this. Just make sure that you um, keep the integrity of a neutral spine, okay? So I want my abs all stretched out. And now I'm going to take them, I'm going to crunch them together, but very methodically. I want to bring my ribs towards my hips crunching 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 blowing everything out sucking that navel in and now inhale back slow like to a count of eight now i want you to squeeze it up and crunch it together for the count of eight seven pull the navel in six five four three two one, sweet, 
kind of open it up for the count of eight. Now, if you need more, if you need more, you can bring your hips up and come back. Just keep that big arch, bringing it up. Woo! Make it small. Hips to ribs, navel in. Woo! Take it back. Slow and controlled. Using those muscles to bring yourself back. Bring it up. Navel in. Bringing the ribs to the hips. Woo! Tight. Pull that. Pull the transverse in, navel in, bring it back, slow, control. Don't let momentum do it. Make your muscles carry it back. And up. All the way up. And back. All right, nice job. While we're here, let's go into some um, let's go into some hip thrust. We're mixing, we're mixing up the the mixing it up a little bit today. I never want anyone to get bored. <laughs> don't, I don't want you to know what's coming next. Well, you can't know because I don't know, right? <laughs> here we go. Okay, butts coming up, butts coming up. I'm gonna do two bands. I'm gonna do one above the knee and one below the knee. <laughs> so when you are double banded like this, and I and I tell you to bring your knees apart, why right? your movement might only be like this, but it's the tension you're putting against those muscles. So if I say knees out and then knees in, your knees never come in like this. It's just knees out, and then your knees go back to the place that you start the, the tension, okay? I think you all know that, but just in case, don't want you to miss out on the uchi ouchi uchi uchis, right? Because those are the game changing uchis we like. Here we go. We all know the drill hip thrust, game changers, yes, yes, yes. And taking it up. We are weighted. We are walking our feet apart. Our feet are apart, just like in that stand up lateral walk. Dig the big toe down, distribute the weight, keep those feet flat. Here we go. Okay, my neck is supported on the ball. My butt is squeezing. So now I want you to, instead of pushing, see how my, I'm open here. I want you to take the hips to the ribs, get into that neutral, into that neutral, okay? And now I want you to pulse from this neutral rather than pushing up like this. Okay, so we're in that neutral, squeezing that butt, squeeze the butt. Because I never want to encourage you into that anterior tilt where the pelvis is coming down towards your thighs. So you always hear me say hips to ribs because that's what I see all of us fighting. You guys pushing up? Oh gosh, I'm already dying here. Not dying, I'm living. My butt is burning. Hold it at the top, hold it at the top, hold it at the top, hold it at the top. And now take it down. Two, three, four. Tension on the band. Five, six, up, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Okay, I still have a hip to rib ratio. That doesn't change. Staying in that good neutral spine and taking it up. I'm still curling. I'm not opening up. Okay. Taking it up, squeezing that butt. Ouch. Take it down. Ow. Owie. Woo, woo, woo. Tension. Yeah, baby. Tension on the head. Go to your failure. If you can't hold the form, stop. Take it up. We're going to do one more. And take it down. Two. Three, four, five, and up. Nice tempo. When we make it burn, when we go slow, ah! hold it at the top and pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice job. You gotta take a little break when you're burning those muscles out like that, going to failure. 
Now let's take a recovery in between, okay? Whatever your recovery is, a little movement, a little shifting, or you can lay there and play dead. It all works, no rules. No rules on recovery, right? Just whatever feels good to you. It's in the text. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, you can. Okay, here we go. We can do it again. Grab my drink. Some of the best 90 minutes of your life right here. Right? Right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, set it up. Supporting the neck. Weighted, banded, feet flat. Tuck the chin just slightly. You don't want your chin on your chest, but um, when you're looking up either, so that gets you neutral. All right, and now we're taking, we're holding the butt up, curling, knees wide, and together. Again, you know the rule is just tension, pull them out, bring it back to the neutral, bring it out, Ugh! neutral. Push them out, push those knees wide, pulling the butt up. Put your hands down on your butt. Hold that thing up, don't let it go. Knees wide, and in, and out, and in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now take the right leg, put the right leg up, whoop, whoop, whoop. straighten it, and down. Left leg up, straighten. And down, right leg up, Woo! and down, left leg up, and down, hold that butt up, tension on the band, right leg up, and down, left leg up, and down, take it back, butt down, butt up, knees wide, and in. Butt down, butt up, knees wide, hold the knees wide, hold the knee wide, and pulse the knees out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, hold, and we'll pulse up 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. Take it down. Feel your heart rate. Is your heart rate up? <laughs> so, yeah, you should notice like when you're really doing resistance training, especially on your, your, you know, your glutes or legs, the largest muscles in your body, your heart rate will go up. <sighs> One more set of these thrusts. Move on, get some activation in our uh, transverse. Oh. A couple more things, and we are on to our cool down mobility. Relaxation is coming, coming soon. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Ready? Start your setup. Slowly get to your setup. Coming back. Getting your neck going. Feet down. Weights evenly distributed where they're comfortable. Tuck the hips a little bit. 
And push that booty up. Push that booty up. Push it up. And bring those knees wide. Bring the band wide. Now take it down, halfway down, and bring it up. Halfway down. Bring it up. Remember, stay in that curl. Don't just push. Don't go into the anterior tilt. Halfway down. Halfway up. Halfway down. Halfway up. Come all the way down to the bottom very slowly. More at the bottom. We're coming halfway up. Squeeze that butt. Halfway or all the way to the bottom. Halfway. Down. Halfway. Down. Should be burning. Fire. Halfway. Oh. Down. Yeah. Halfway. Down. All the way up. Slow. 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 Take down for eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, up for eight. Don't race, no rush, no hurry. You have eight counts to get all the way up while you're in that hip curl. Now take it halfway down, controlling, and back up. Take it to the bottom, nice and slow. We've got an eight count. I know it burns. You're at the bottom and take it halfway up. Go to the bottom to last push up. Come on, you got it. Take your time. What eight counts? Eight, seven, mm -hmm. six, five, four, three. At the top, 10 pumps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Woo! All I have to say is, hallelujah, that that's done, right? Not a shake here. Woo woo! Nice job, ladies. <laughs> okay. Drink. Go into those lower transverse abdominals. Okay. You can shove your weights to the side. Keep your ball where you can retrieve it. Okay. So we're going to come on down. Come on down. Bring yourself down to the floor. Actually, my ball's going to be in my way. Okay. You can be okay. Yeah. Okay. So my ball is over there hanging out. <laughs> and give yourself some space. Tuck your, tuck your hips to your ribs, tuck your chin, bring your knees up, and do that. Suck this in, all about this transverse abdominals. Take it down and up. Left to march, the to toe march. Right down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. <laughs> Inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, up, back stays on the floor, transverse abdominal stay in. Need easier, bring your knees in closer, okay? This is easier, if you're just coming back to recovery, keep it in close. If you're the pro, take it down low. I'm somewhere in between right now, but out for a bit, so form is more important than the reps, okay? One done right is better than a hundred done wrong. Inhale down, exhale up. Take the left knee, excuse me, left hand, right knee. Push, 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 push knee in the hand and switch, other side. Push, 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 switch, push, switch, push. Switch, push, switch, push, switch, and push, switch, push, 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 switch, push, switch, bring both knees to your chest, both knees to your chest, roll it out. Hmm. 
And let's do one more set here. Anytime you bring you when it harder, bring your arms overhead. Okay. So bring those knees up. Bring your right leg straight. We circle one way, circle the other, bring it in, other side, lower your leg is, the harder it is. Again, you need to make sure you're not combing your domain. You need to keep the back flat, hips, ribs, circle, and reverse. Switch, take out, circle, reverse, switch. Further away your knees stay, the harder it is. You need easier, keep those knees in closer. The further away from the midline you get, midline is your, your core area, the harder it is. Couple more, out, and in. Out, and in. And now we're gonna take it open. You can do one leg at a time, open to the side. And exhale in, shh, open, exhale in, shh, open. Can you do both at once? And release, bring those knees back in, knees back in. <sighs> and grab your ball, grab your ball, hamstring slides, here they come. Feet are on top of the ball, tucking the chin, digging those elbows into the side. Remember, you want to be on top of the ball, push it up, holding myself up. And to it out and in. Two more. Release. For our recovery, let's grab our ball. Bring your ball, do some um, neuroplossing first, straight legs, pointing and flexing. And just put your, you're gonna activate those inner thighs, put your ball in between and pump it out. Go, pump, 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 pump. Just keep on. Keep on pulsing, hold that tummy in, pulse, 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 go. My inner thighs, I think are asleep. Go, 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 go. Ah. Work them, work them, work them. 10 more. Release, knees <clears throat> in, pull it out. And go ahead and take that ball down. Take the ball down. Back to the hamstring slides. You can pull our flight out for a minute. Ready? Hard work works. Put those elbows down. Tuck the chin. Feet on top of the ball. And push it up. Push it up. Take it out. And in. Take it out and in, out and in, bring it out and in, out and in, out and in, couple more, keep it going, it's just this bend in, bend of the knee, two more, Woo! and release. Oh, same recovery, legs <sighs> point and flex, point and flex. 
knees straight, doesn't matter what angle they're at, just keep those knees straight, pointing and flexing. And now grab that ball. Okay, don't want to open up again. Keep it here. Bring the ball in and pulse. Squeeze those legs, squeeze the knees. Pulse, 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 pulse. Boom, boom, boom. Try to pop that ball. Working those inner thighs. Waking them up. Inner thighs and hamstrings, they're all together. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Go, 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 10 more. Ah! Let it go. Put your butt up for a quick release. And grab a little drink. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right. Feet on top of the ball. Just take an inhale, bring those arms overhead. Turn your chin to the right. Turn your chin to the left. Look right and look left. And just stop at center. Slight tuck of the chin. Feet are on the ball. I'm gonna dig those elbows in. Help support me, make me feel strong. They're right by my ribs. And I'm gonna push myself up. All right, here we go. Take it out and then shh. Five more. Woo! <laughs> Bring your knees up, legs up, and Lock the knees, point and flex. You can actually, if you want to keep them straight, just lock the knees, okay? Straight on the ball, that works. Just move on that side of the curve. And bring it up, grab that ball, last set in your thigh. And pulse it out, boom. Hmm. Keep on pushing that ball, make it pop, make it work. Woo! Woo! 20 more. 10 more. Squeeze it, hold it, hold it, squeeze it, pop it, hold it, squeeze it, and let go. <coughs> Fall down, nice job. Woo! Bring that ball down, butterfly those legs, and just little, just be playful, bobble side to side, twist that lower body, whatever feels good. And let's take, straighten our legs on the ball. And then bring our knees open as we bring the ball towards <clears throat> us, knees together, straighten, open the knees to the side, knees together at the top, straighten it out, open it up, bring it together, out, open. <sighs> okay, reverse it. So now knees come up and together. Come into the butterfly and taking it down. Should be nice and relaxing. You can keep doing exactly what you're doing. 
I just want to switch direction, switch my direction here. So there we go. All right. And now bring your right knee in, left out, rotate that right ankle. Taking a breath. This is your cool down. It's always, always so helpful to do this cool down, to thank your body, um, and just to let your, your neuromuscular system calm back down. We put a lot of stress on it. And now take and open this up. Open the right knee up as you think about the left of glute staying down. You can put your foot on the ball if you want. Just open this space up. Maybe bring that left arm up. So left leg is long. Feel the space in your ribs. Feel it through your pelvis, through your inner thigh. Taking a breath. Ah. And now bring that ball in and bring this knee up. Go ahead and bring that across, right leg we're over on that left thigh, bringing it in a little point flex. Point flex, rotate those ankles every chance you get. And maybe bobble into the side. Maybe pushing that right knee away. Maybe it drops over your body. Maybe that other arm, that right arm pushes up as that knee opens, tucking the chin, maybe looking one direction and the other. Feeling the space now all through the right hip. And coming back to center, bring both knees in, bring the chin in, tuck them into a ball. And back out, the right leg goes long, left knee comes in, rotate that ankle some more, ankle rotation. So I tell you people can't move their hips. I'm talking about when people come see me in person, they can't move their hips. You can't, you know, when you say move your hips, their whole body moves. So everything's locked up. You can't rotate the thoracic and they can't rotate ankles, okay? Mobility is medicine, keep moving, move the joints. Move, okay? Left knee down as you do a, a little bit of an external rotation with that right upper thigh to kind of keep that right glute down. Maybe that right arm comes back, creating space on the right side of the body through the ribs, getting that breath of life all the way into the belly. And when you're ready, go ahead and cross it out. Left foot over the right thigh, maybe bobbling to the sides. Again, whatever feels good. Maybe you're pulling it up, maybe you're pushing the knee out. And if it's in your practice, drop it over your body. And it's our final expression. Let's go ahead and go. I'm going to keep my feet up on the ball today. Just get to that comfortable position. Maybe look left, look right, wherever your hands may be. If they're open, if you're receiving, maybe you, you know, maybe they're over your heart. Thinking gratitude for for each other, for ourselves. Sounds like we have fantastic news with Pat. Yay, Pat, our sister. She's had a long recovery journey. Every day is a gift. Every day we feel good and healthy is a bigger gift. Feeling the breath through your mouth or your nose. 
coming down your windpipe, the breath of life. And let's go ahead and bend our knees, bring your arms up, mummy arms, take an inhale. Exhale as you roll to the side. And go ahead and bring yourself up to a seated position. Put your arms together, palms together, back to your heart. Namaste. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. Thank you. Amazing class. Thank you. Beautiful.